Hello everybody, this is Sergey Vaklikov, you're watching Real Russia channel, 7th of July 2018 and this is definitely a significant day for the history of Russia because today for the first time in the whole history of the football the Russian national team yeah, is in one force of the final of the World Cup now all these people are going to the fun zone uh, in St. Petersburg to look at the game that is now hap will happen in the uh, Sochi, Sochi at 9 p.m. Moscow time, local Sochi time as well. So, and this is a really significant day because for our national team, even one force is a great achievement, the greatest achievement in the World Cup tournament. Um, we are very strong in the hockey, but we, I mean, Russia always were weak. Well, let's name it the way it is. Always were weak in a football. Probably that's because we don't have a too long summer, but we have uh, like an ice arenas where the kids can training for like nine months, nine, ten months a year. So that's why Russia always were strong, was strong in an ice hockey, but kind of weak in a football. But uh, during this World Cup, the guys from Russia are making the history. The main streets of St. Petersburg, which is called Nevsky Prospect, Nevsky Avenue. And I'm going to Bolshaya Kanyushin Street, where is located the fun zone. Uh, once the game happens, not in St. P, but in Sochi. So people are going to fun zone. Actually, they can watch the game at home. But in a fun zone, it's much more fun because you're in the streets, you're around the crowds. And it's just a very great time being much better than being at home. You guys were asking me why I don't film uh, more about the World Cup in Russia. But, you know, uh, the worst thing about it is that I have started making loads of money with my investments into the Cashbury just not long ago. And they have sold the tickets already like a year ago and or even more when they had that lottery. So I just got late a little, uh, but now going at least to the fun zone. I draw the Russian flag on Vika's chick. I've got a horn for Vika. Russia! Russia! Russia!
disappointment. We came here to the fan zone and it has became closed for more fans to go there. So we've got late and they offered to go to an additional fan zones to the Sportivne metro station. So we have no choice, we go there. Another fun zone in St. Petersburg, metro station, Sportivne, sports metro station, uh, Jubilini Arena. By the way, I guess I haven't mentioned yet that today they play against Croatia. <laughs> That's where it's located, the screen. And now, this is a sad moment. 1-1, one, one. damn it. They tied the game. Now in the second time, our team experienced a huge pressing from the uh, Croatia. But I hope the guys now will recover. And that's two fucking one in the overtime, but we still have time to to save the game. This is a really dramatic match, you know, we won one nothing, then one one, then we got lost one two. And finally for the five minutes until the end of the extra time, we tied the game. Now the penalty is serious. Now everybody shouts eager, eager, they refer to our Russian goalkeeper. The first shots of Croatia go 0 1. The second shot successful. 
one one, but they have a shot. Everybody keeps shout eager. Now everybody rely on eager. He only he can save the game. He's not even got in a freaking net. So now again, everybody hopes just for Igor. Igor may become the savior. Fuck, Russia next shot. Ignacey is goal. Ignacey. <laughs> two, two. But Croatians have one shot and two again. Igor, давай, давай, Igor. Unfortunately, goal. Now, if our next player will not shot the goal, no chance. Goal. Still have a chance. Now everything depends on Igor. The last shot, everything depends on Igor. That's all. That's all. But anyway, well done. The guys fought for the last. It was not a shameful loss. It was a nice loss. I mean, very, very worthy one. I'm proud of Russian guys. Even when they got just into one force in the quarterfinal, they already got, became heroes. So we can be heroes just for one day. I believe that most of people proud of our national team. However, upset as well, and just quietly go home. But you have no idea what it would be if now our guys got into the, you know, one second of the final, half final. Now we at least got to the Vasilyevsky Islands, going to the Soviet cafe called Kvartirka. It's like a small flat, small apartment. Nice cafe with a nice cuisine and a interior made in a Soviet style. However, you see, the guys, the guys are happy anyway, because anyway, our guys fought, fought so hard and so strong today. There was a lot of drama. At least in the end of the day, after all, we can drink a nice Vasilya Ostrovskaya beer. The beer of Vasilyev's Island, where we are located now, local beer. This is a dark beer, which is by consistence almost like a stout, which I love. Uh, what about Victoria? Of course, she's not drinking beer, she is drinking kvas. Kvas, traditional Russian drink, very nice one. And we are watching uh, TV where they discuss the game. And yep. Everybody, everybody thankful to the Russian national team for this game. Anyway, the guys are heroes anyway. 
сегодня выиграть. Я думаю, команда выложилась на все сто процентов, даже на 200. Борщ. We Russians, we love борщ. Because from the very childhood we always want to have something liquid and hot inside of us. Uh, borscht with a sour cream. Delicious, delicious. And one more Vasily Ostrovskaya. Это на счет. One more beer. And now this is пельмени. Пельмени. I guess you call them dumplings or something like that. So, truly um, Russian thing. Because that is квартирка Soviet кафе. I've got as much of emotions from today's game that I feel drunk just from two bottles of Vasilevsky Island beer. Now Vika wants to take a shit. She wants to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vasilevsky Island. People are happy for Russian team anyway. Здравствуйте. So we got home. I'm home. I lost my job and incurably ill. You think this? This is your realism. I've got a girl out there, I suppose. I think she's dancing. What do I know? I am a DJ. I am what I play. I've got believers. Believe in me. See you guys.